YouTube, it's your boy Spray Paint back at you with another video, man. Hey, man. So, Oakland rapper BNC, BNC4 Nero arrested for tan to guard murder, bro. If y'all can remember, I did a segment on Oakland rapper tan to guard. She was deleted in front of her beauty store on the meet and greet. But before we get into further, y'all know what it is, man. I need y'all to smash that like button because we in these YouTube streets and we got to talk about it. So yeah, man, I had did a segment on Tan to God, I want to say two weeks ago probably. And basically I told you I did my research on Tan to God. And for me listening to her music, she wasn't the sexy red type. She wasn't the lotto type. She was the money. I'm going to keep it a band. I was calling her a drill rapper. Matter of fact, that's what she is. Any female that's taunting the dead, disrespecting the dead, <clears throat> like you trying to rap like you from Chicago, like you from that culture, I gotta go ahead and put you in the bracket with the drill rappers. But anyway, allegedly, Tan the God deleted her ex-boyfriend. You feel me? He was an abusive boyfriend, allegedly, and the word on the streets that she deleted her boyfriend, not even just that. She taunted him by having, you know, pictures with a with, with the head photoshopped out with a blunt. Like she's smoking on her boyfriend, had a pack of cigars, calling them X Woods. Matter of fact, she fired up a blunt on off the porch was saying that she was smoking on her boyfriend with the tombstone beside her. Now Everything that I'm saying in this video towards her to leave her boyfriend is entertainment purposes only. You feel me? Everything is alleged. But if this is allegedly down, why would you sit there and talk about deleting your boyfriend all over social media and on these other platforms? You feel me? Why would you do that? Who is your manager? Matter of fact, who is your parents? Who agreed with you taunting the dead like it's something to play with? And you continuously did it, bro. And it's sad to say how you lost your life because you too young. If I'm not mistaken, she was 27 years old. 27, yeah. Matter of fact, she was 27 years old. So you, you was doing good. You had something going for yourself. You build a platform, you went to off the porch, I mean dirty glove, you know what I mean? Did your uh your your interview and everything, and this thing you know you had better things in life that you was you was chasing another goal. You had a beauty salon, a meet and greet. And you lost your life at a meet and greet, bro. Like that's sad. And it's more sad because it's a female. Because we was always taught to protect our sisters. But what do you do when your sisters is taunting the dead? When she playing with people, loved ones. I'm just saying if that's if this facts. If she did delete her boyfriend. Because on Dirty Glove, she was like, yeah, I'm smoking on him. And his family members ain't going to do nothing about it. I found that interview straight disrespectful. I found it disrespectful. But anyway, not to get off subject, bro. Dominique Antoine Gate has been arrested for Tan the Guard murder. Tan, Tan was shot outside the beauty supply store July 15th in the afternoon. It was broad daylight when it happened, bro. You can go check the footage out. She shared her location and invited fans to celebrate the grand opening. You feel me? As you can see in the video, you see all kind of people out there. Not even just that. You see about two, three guys with Pooh Shyster mask on. And I found that mighty funny. Like, if this is a meet and greet for the females to come, this is a beauty supply store now. Why is goons out there with masks and all black in broad daylight? I didn't understand that at all. If you check out the video, you can literally see two young niggas with all black on look like they about to go on the drill or done did a drill. And all of a sudden, shots rang out, and she lose her life. But anyway, 
this dude, this Oakland rapper BNC Fonero, he's arrested for it. Now, I don't know if he did it or whatever, but he must have had some type of connection with this. You feel me? Otherwise, they wouldn't have picked him up. I'm not saying he did it. I'm just saying they picked him up on it. And not to mention, he 30 years old, bro. He 30 years old. So if he really did this, his life is over with. It's over with. You 30 years old, a 15-year sentence will kill you. Because one thing about it, when you start getting older in prison, you got to constantly go to medical. And you know, in prison, you don't get the right treatment like the people on the streets, bro. They leave you in there for dead. So as you constantly running through all them calendars and your body just no good, you ain't being treated right, it was just a waste of time. So it's like a lose-lose situation. Rest in peace, tan to God. She lost her life. And now, if you, buddy, if you really did this, you about to lose your life. Y'all get in the comments, let me know what you thought, what you think about this segment, man. Rest in peace, tan to God. I'm gone.